Now, in a lot of my videos, I use Onshape as my preferred drafting software of choice. I have lots of other options like FreeCAD, Inventor, uh, SolidWorks, Fusion 360, but I often find myself coming back to Tinkercad for things that I just wanna get done quickly without a lot of hassle. There's nothing big deal for getting it set up. Uh, and there's lots of reasons for that, uh, but really it's designed to make things quickly and that's what I do with it. It's not made for super crazy complex things. It's capable of it, but it's not how I prefer to use it, but you can do a lot of cool stuff. And since I've been playing with it, um, there's been a lot of new tools that have come out. Let's take a look at one of them that uh, is about uh, a year old, maybe a little more than that. It's called the Cruise Tool. And it's just a little magnet here on the top right hand side. You can activate it with the letter C. Uh, so I dragged out a uh, cube there, and let's go ahead and drag uh, a cylinder out as well. When I highlight a shape by clicking on it and hit C for cruise, it allows you to drag the shapes around. And there's this little circle down here that we can kind of get an idea of right there. What the cruise tool does is if you grab that little grab handle, you can just place it automatically on top or on the side or whatever you need of any object, and it will snap too. If you take a look there, it's automatically on top. If I undo that, you can see I didn't raise it up. Normally what you do is you click on this, you go in and you say, hey, I'm gonna find this black hour here. I'm gonna drag it up to the height of that one. Then I'm gonna have to move it over and get it all set up. That's not the case here. All I have to do is highlight my part, hit the letter C, grab that little handle, and I can place it wherever I want to, and it goes right in there. Now, there's a whole bunch of other things you can do inside of Tinkercad uh, that I may make future videos on, but I just wanna kinda look at this one cause I just love that I can stack stuff easily, I can get it done quickly, and don't have to worry about a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, a couple other things you might wanna look at when we're looking in Tinkercad. Uh, you have your basic shapes, which is fine. There's a drop down here for a whole bunch more, including stuff that's already set up. But one of the one fun things that we have is SimLab. When we go into SimLab, uh, it gives us a whole bunch of options for motors, for dominoes, uh, there's even like a trebuchet here. There's all kinds of cool stuff that we can play with and you can do lots and lots of different things. Once you're ready to do whatever it is you're doing, uh, you can go in and click on this button right here, which is our SimLab. That's gonna open up a whole new option inside of here. And then we can go through and we can add motors and we can actually have them rotate. Uh, we can throw objects. We can sit there and have them roll down and change the scene so uh, we can change the scale of the simulation, we can change the gravity, uh, we can change the materials. There is so much to play with here uh, that I quite honestly just don't have the time in this video or even like a half hour, an hour long video to go over all of the things that you can do. Uh, but what I'm really just happy about here is that they made it easy to stack shapes and to put them on different spots. And again, it doesn't matter where you put it. Um, I can even scale this bad boy down. So let's try doing something like that. That looks good. Then I'll hit C and it will still grab that center of that object and I can place it wherever I would like. And I can very easily start building out robots or different shapes. This is really good for kids. It's really good just to rapidly prototype and just see what you can do. You don't have to worry about rotating and all that stuff because normally what you do, I already went over raising it up with that black arrow, but normally then we'd have these little curved arrows here and we have to rotate over and getting that perfectly on there can be a little bit of a challenge. And then I'd have to move it over here and then I'd have to move it up. It just takes a lot of time. The cruise tool, again, letter C, is gonna allow you to do that very quickly, very easily. And then if you're doing something like 3D printing, you can just highlight all of these things and you can group them together with Control G or just hitting the group button here on the top right hand side. Now it's all one part and uh, I can change the size of it and it will proportionally go. Uh, and then if I'm not digging that, I can just ungroup it by hitting Shift or Control Shift G and then click on the ungroup button as the other option and it returns it right back to where it was. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So I really, really dig Tinkercad. It's great for rapid prototyping, it's great for fun and it's great just to play around with and see what's going on. There's so much in the software that it's completely free. It's great for 3D printing and lots of other things. I'll probably make some more videos on this, especially of this ruler tool, which I absolutely love, uh, but that's gonna be a discussion for another day. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you in another one and you have a good one. Bye-bye.